We take a look at the bots in the box, some new bots on the block, and some blocks that make bots, all this week in Robot Combat. Hello and welcome to the show. This week saw the final fight card fight night episode of BattleBots before the bracket. Some amazing battles started off with Bloodsport versus Claw Viper, definitely one to watch. Then Mad Catter took on Rampage in a flipping awesome fight. Huge and Switchback went toe to toe and nose to nose or chin to chin as it very much were. Kraken and Glitch faced off an 0 2 versus a 2 0. Then Lucky and Mammoth had a bit of a flip off. Who will win? Wait and see. Witch Doctor took on Rusty with a new weapon attachment. And the main event this week Ice Wave versus Fusion. Sparks fly once again in the battle box. And those sparks don't stop, as in the bonus fight this week Black Dragon took on Orby Blade. Now, if you don't want spoilers for the bracket, make sure you find the comment below that has the time code to go forwards. The bracket was revealed at the end of this week's episode. Number one seeds Endgame, number two Ribot, number three Whiplash and number four Sawblaze. The top four there should come as no surprise really. Other bots looking good in there as well. You can get a full rundown of our thoughts and feelings as towards the fights from this week and of the bracket as well in two episodes of the Robocast coming out this week. One featuring Jonathan Schultz, the other featuring Pete Abrahamson, the Bot Whisperer. Something I haven't really been mentioning because it happens all too frequently is that robot parts keep going up for sale on eBay as is tradition now. This week, Bloodsport parts seem to be up for grabs. Go and check out the links. And also over on the Robots Ruined My Life store, the P1 store for you and me, there is a P1 bomber jacket up for sale. You can go and check out that pre-order now. Now it's that time of year again where the applications start coming in for the new season of BattleBots. Here we can see the video showing off new robot Banshee, built by the same team that built Kelpie for the US Beetle scene. We also have this new robot, a lovely looking drum spinner called Drago, another US Beetle scaled up by the looks of things. We have this robot applicant called Athena, which came up on Instagram this week. We also have Double Tap, a spinner by the looks of things, looking very sleek and almost alienic in design. Very natural shapes, no hard edges. Very nice. Now, you will have already been aware, I'm sure, of the new sensation that is Doomba, this new BattleBots application. We also have an application from Part of My French, all fully rebuilt. The bot is actually complete, so uh, that's cool. There are links, of course, in the description below. Going over to the World of Woodrow Facebook page, where you can find links to all of this week's stories. The final application video for this week comes from friend of the channel Ben from Team Panic, who is showing off his new Melty Brain heavyweight spinner bot called Zap. It looks very, very cool. Make sure you go and check out all of the videos that I've shown off today in full on their respective pages and channels. There is one final application, however, and that comes from Team Shreddit and Pain Train, who have applied for a potential Season 7 of BattleBots. Now on to some live event stuff. Labman announced this week the format that the next Fight Fest event on the 9th and 10th of July will look like. They also announced that the event will be live streamed. RoboNerd announced the dates for the 2022 Nerd Gathering. Of course, all of the robots in a pub car park in Wolverhampton once again. Be sure to save the date Saturday the 3rd of September 2022. Bristol Bot Builders announced this week that the new event North Down Havoc will be taking place later this year in April. There will be bevs, there will be ant weights, and there may also be some camping. This looks like an excellent and fun event. Be sure to go and spectate, take part. Rampage links are open. You can go and sign up to these now. Go along, have some fun, do some camping, drink some cider. It's all good fun over in the Mangles Farmhouse. Oh yes, some Rory Mangles in your life. Last weekend saw Reading Brick Show take place. Robots made of Lego and nothing but actual Lego took part in some battles across the weekend. Three sessions on the Saturday, three sessions on the Sunday. The eight Roboteers that took part in the event also had a bit of a tournament to see whose bots would take home the ultimate prize. Pride. Yes, that's all we could offer really. This event was so much fun. Thanks to the organisers 
the Roboteers and everyone for coming to watch. Finally, popular ant weight competition over here in the UK, Ant Freeze, took place once again. The designs and build styles always interesting and different. The winner, this sort of flappy thing in front of the camera, sort of articulates all of its parts, all folds out and can flip as well. It's a very nice little design. Now it's time to go through your fan submission, submitted of course on the World of Woodrow Discord. Make sure to check out the description for links to get involved. Discord user Banana Does Stuff showed off this amazing version of Riptide made in Robot Rumble 2. It looks so accurate and so very cool. Meanwhile, also in Robot Rumble 2, SC LEGO Robot Combat has made this dual angled vertical spinner called Moonshot. Very nice. That builder boy has made an Axbot out of LEGO called Profanity, looking very clean indeed. Robot Combat Models showed off this amazing cardboard model of Beetleweight Sproing came third at the last BBB event. And finally, Cat's Eye finished off their Claw Viper replica that looks absolutely amazing and very accurate indeed. And that's just about all for this time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow on Facebook to keep up to date with all of the latest news and check out the World of Woodrow Discord to get involved with your fan submissions. We hope to see you there soon and see you back here soon as well for more news. Until then, bye-bye.